one does not mean that we can't celebrate all the amazing memories that That's we've right. made, right? And here to uh, show us how to make a gallery wall to help commemorate our family travels in particular is Ken. Hello. All right, show us how to do this, Ken. How you doing? I'm good. You have a lot going on, Ken. Well, I mean, I'm excited about the sweet stage. I was going to say. I'm so excited about that. So please enter. I want to come decorate. Oh, it's going to be fabulous. Uh, yeah, so you know, we're, we're at the end of the summer. You've got all the photos. Oh. And I know I am fully guilty of they sit on my phone. Yeah. I, I like never, scroll through yes. them. Exactly. Oh, so man. I thought let's create a way to get them out of their phone, up on the wall, and really create a way to sort of like live those all right. and year. And enjoy them all year I long. I think exactly. that's so key because right. like, to your point, they just sit on the phone or your device like crazy. Right. Uh, let's jump right into this. So let's start with the map itself. Well, so the, what do we need to do uh, to create that? So for the map itself, so this is one of those things that you can sort of adjust to your level of ability. Okay. I cut ours out of wood, out of quarter inch oh, plywood, nice. which okay. is very Showing simple. Off. A jigsaw, quarter inch plywood makes it very easy, but you could also use foam core. Wow. You could use, they make the pre-made um, globe decals for your wall. You could paint it. So really at home, sort of do what you feel is good and just make sure you've got the different countries, because like you were in Greece. Oh, it was so, so you wonderful. really want to kind of sort of be able to like yes. so make sure you have you can adjust the perfect dimensions of Greece. And you were you were Canada. So yes. you know make sure you could also if you were in Europe, you could do largely just Europe. Sure. So you can really customize sure, it to that fit makes your perfect sense. space. But I do love, I will say how it how they stick out. How did you manage that? Well I'll show you let, let's get this cut out then okay, I can come so back to that because that all, really gives it some depth. You're yeah. right. I'm not using the plywood here. Right. So what are you gonna do for it? You need to get your your content. You can use things like a projector, etc. But I found it easiest just to print out online, this is South America, print it out on two sheets of paper, right. cut that out, and then you're just gonna trace that onto your, let's say we're gonna do the foam core right now. Right. Okay, the foam very core. good, very good. And then, fresh X-Acto blade, yeah. Mr. Oh, Cameron. Camera. First I like DIY of the handle season. First. Yeah, that's right, that's right. We kinda go right in there. Exactly, and just and you take just... your time, cut it out. Um, very, very simple. Um, well, and it's the easy. sort of thing where you want to sort of just take your time, sure. sharp blade. Sure. And you just kind of move it around. And then presto. How long should we let him do it? Uh, Let's just let him keep doing going. it. Let's keep, keep right, doing it's going it. I can, I can and speed up. And voila. I can speed there up. you go. It's actually very kind of calming, isn't it? It is very, very calming. Very, very there calming. we go. There we go. We'll toss that over there. Yeah, so you're going to do that now. I did one, and I've got it here. I did one out of plywood, um, again, nice. with the jigsaw. So what, yep. whichever way you're going to go, do that. Now your question so about 3D. the depth. Yeah, right. I love that. A way, that. if you're gonna do this out of the foam core or the wood, to make it really feel special is you wanna pop it out from the wall so it's the same depth as your picture frame. Oh. All you're gonna do here. Is that why the house smart? Right, it really elevates and it yes, really makes it, it look fancy. Oh, Just get it. some scrap wood. You see I've got scrap wood here. See how it's floating out there? And really yeah. you get the shadow and it really right. is what makes it seem really like, as Debbie puts it, Substan rich. 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 It looks rich and substantial. You notice I've got some blocks of <laughs> wood here and they're just slightly shallower than my picture frame that I'm going to use. Okay. So all you're gonna do is get those and then a oh, little ninja. bit of, I caught the hot glue, I didn't even burn myself. All you're gonna do. It's just like that. A little hot glue on the back, thank you, Cameron. And would you, would you keep the, the uh, frames and the continents the same color? Yeah, so you, can, you can pick whatever color you want, keep them all natural. I chose black to really make it real graphic. Yeah. But you really want this to read as one big piece of art. Right. Right. So keep them the same color, so buy all the same all picture together. frame. There you go. Exactly, and then once you've done that, you've got your continents, yeah. they're floating out, they're all the same. What you're gonna get is just, these are just little pieces of wood. And this is Maya. It. This is Shirley's daughter, who's in Machu Picchu. Oh, oh wow. So what oh, you're going to do is sort of figure out where Machu Picchu is, figure out this, mark your little thing right there, and then I find the easiest was little pieces of wood. Get a pair of wire clippers. All right, just pop it right and off. And just. Now, what happens if you're sort of right like off. me when I'm on, uh, when I'm traveling around, I tend to take tons of photos. What if we want to do multiple photos for a specific location, how's you, how do you work that in? Well, the best thing to do there is to get, instead of the big picture frames with like one photo, oh. get the multi ones. Oh, I love you it. can find them with like oh, three sure. across, okay, yeah. the collage, and then you can really put multiple photos in one. And there's also other ways you can do this. Like, I love the idea of just doing it with no pictures, and then over the course of your life, start adding photos. Oh, lovely, and then Ken. so over the years, idea. it will sort of become this wonderful chronicle of what you've done with time. And you can have some
some of your bucket list places up there too. This is like right. the elevated put a pin out on it. Exactly. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, put a push yeah, pin. Yeah, like put a map board. up and put a pin right. on the map. And you're like, I've been there. Put a pin on it. This is yeah. the grown up version of that. So now yeah. you oh, see, once you do that, get them all hung up first. And once you've got everything hung, then you're going to go through with these little strips and a little bit of glue. And that's it. Yeah. And then you're just going to. And it's all hot glue. And it's all hot glue. And you so just let super it. easy. And you just you just hang them with little hooks on the on the wall. Little nails on the wall because you've got that that spacer bar, so it'll sit right on top Perfect. of a screw. The frames will already have that. So get it all up, add your little pieces, and then really you have this like I just love looking at this. We've got a mix of our home and family family and a Hallmark family. There again, it's Maya that is Shirley's daughter in Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. Yeah. Um, we've got that wonderful destination wedding the Pinavegas That's did right. in Acapulco. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lovely Alexandra. Alexandra at the monastery walking down there the little monastery. This is really exactly. Good. There's like Lawrence and his twin in, in Germany. Germany doing a move, doing a. And it's the problem. kind of thing exactly. too. You'd probably want to leave some space. So wherever you start this, like, make sure it can grow a little bit exactly. because through right. time, like your point, you can just keep adding to right. it, hitting new des destinations. That's why I did it here in front of the sofa because really, if you take away all the photos and just the destinations, just the countries, it looks great. And what and a conversation piece this is when your right. friends come over, right? And you have company, and you just it's much better when our parents pulled out the slide projector. <laughs> like, I'm gonna show you my vacation. Have a seat. It's been an hour and a half. Some of the kids, some of the kids at home will have no idea what we're talking about.